This is Franklin and and Merriam Webster's dictionary and Thesaurus built right on in uh, one device. Um, this is basically it has a built in dictionary and Thesaurus. So when you type in a word, it tells you the definition, the part of speech, and it tells you Thesaurus. So uh, similar um, parts of speeches and words and synonyms and uh, just stuff in general that you might want to go um, directly before and search up on YouTube. You have a handheld device. This is the cheapest. Uh, Merriam-Webster dictionary thesaurus you can really buy nowadays. It really is really around 20 to 30 bucks. So you can get it at Fry's. You can get it at, at, at um, any electronics uh, supplier. You can get it at bookstores, whether it's Barnes and Noble, wherever you go, you should pick this one up. Um, it's it's cheap, it's reliable, and it's fairly fast. And it comes in this nice clamshell design. And it's not anything fancy like we've seen in the past, like touchscreens and stuff like that. You just got a clamshell design that runs on cell batteries that lasts fairly long. You've got an instruction on the top of the the case, and the device itself is in this nice brushed uh, plastic. It's not aluminum, but it's it's plastic. It looks like brushed aluminum and silver, and you have this uh, black casing. You've also got a rubber QWERTY keyboard. The keyboard is fairly risen above the surface, although the keys lack a little bit of a tactile response. They are really easy to press, and they're really easy to feel their way around. Typing in words should be fairly easy to use. Um, you've got a multi-line display up here, which you can look through the synonyms, the part of speech, and the definitions that are written now in the dictionary. You've also got a up and down previous and next keys to go through the different the selections and menu systems. And on the first row of the keyboard, we do have access to dictionary. This is for us to learn new words. We also have games. Now, games are basically basic games. You have Hangman main built in, where you can write in a word and then allow another friend or family member to guess what that word is. They can play Hangman. They can also play your own word bank where it it saves all your unknown words or your vocab words, and it it it, uh, it acts as like a teacher and it goes through your unknown words, the words that you just learned, and it quizzes you on those, which is pretty fun. You also have a ORG um, organizer function that organizer stores phone books and. Um, it also acts as a calculator, which is pretty cool. It also the QWERTY keyboard doubles as numbers and also doubles as these up um, plus or um, minus keys. So you can also store. You can also convert money. You can also uh, this is a converter key. Convert your uh, euros to Chinese to American dollars. Um, in addition to just storing phone book numbers, at being a calculator, playing a few word games, being um, learning a few words, being a dictionary to source by the Merriam-Webster dictionary. There's also a basic clock function to store multiple clocks and alarms. Um, there's actually no speaker built in though, so you can't actually use the buzzer feature or anything like that. There's also a basic menu button to take you out of it and a small on-off button. On the right-hand side, you have a small uh, D-pad. D-pad is a little cramped, and for my taste, it's it's really easy to just blot it out. Um, this is a pretty small device, so it's really lightweight, really slim, really inexpensive. Take it anywhere with you. It's got a lot of features. It combines a lot of functions of a basic PDA or pocket PC with its calculator and clock functions, in addition to being just a great dictionary to store. The only complaint, maybe, is that um, the battery drains quite a fast. It's a, it's a standard uh, battery cell, um, but it, it, it drains quite um, – in a few months, it, in, it kind of drains out. That's quite unfortunate for a learning tool. We do want it to last as long as possible because purchasing a battery, you know, especially with nickel cells, it, they cost a lot, and they're not fun to do. But overall, a recommended product. Here at OS and VTXReviews.com, thank you for watching.